Hey guys, it's me Talha. In this video, I will be showing you how to model this triangular pattern facade design in Revit. This sketch was made by Ihab Al Hariri. Do check out his Instagram account. And if you want to learn to create this kind of architectural sketches, you can check out his online course. The link is in the description. Now let's get started. So here I have this basic building model open. To create such triangular pattern, we are going to use in place mass so let's go to matching inside and first i'm going to click show mass button here and then in place mass let's click ok and here first i'm going to create a couple of reference planes so let's go to level one here and select reference plane from here and i'm going to create a couple of reference planes on the face uh, of the facade on which i want to create the triangular pattern now let's name this one and this one will be reference plane 2 and i want to uh, give a one foot gap between these two so let's make it one foot perfect now let's go to the elevation here and now i'm going to create the reference lines here so let's select reference from here and this dialog box will pop up you just need to uh, select pick a plane here and select reference plane one which we have just created let's click ok and now first i'm going to create the base uh, base lines of this shape so let's do that make sure uh, you have selected draw and work plane here and 3d snapping should also be checked and let's create the base lines uh, of this segment here perfect now once we are done that we can uh, change the work plane and create the other shape here so let's select reference line again and uh, keep this draw on work plane selected change the work plane to reference plane 2 let's click ok and i'm going to create a triangle here like so now let's go back to 3d and you can see we have these two profiles created on uh, two different uh, work planes here now we want to join uh, these two profiles so for that we can use reference line again this time we will select draw on face keep the 3d snapping checked then uh, join uh, these points like so let's join that one here let's join this and these two as well and we'll create another triangle here as well so we have created something like this now we can use these reference lines to create a form so let's select these three reference lines here and then click create form and I will get these two options if you want to give it a thickness you can choose this one but uh, I want to create a flat one so I will just uh, select this and as you can see nothing seems to be changed here but if I change the visual style to shaded we will be able to see this form now let's repeat the same uh, with the other reference lines as well you just need to select three reference lines and then click create form and choose this flat surface let's select four of these create form flat surface let's change the visual style to shade it so we can see the remaining ones so let's select these three make sure you have selected the reference line not the face if you accidentally select the face you can hold shift key and deselect the face and hit tab key to highlight the reference line and then hold control key to select multiple uh, reference lines here let's click create form perfect i will quickly repeat this with the other reference lines here as well So once we have done that we can uh, assign a material parameter to this uh, form here so 
let's select all and then filter uncheck reference lines and reference points just keep this form checked click ok and then we'll get the material parameter here let's click this little button to create a new material parameter let's click here and i'm going to call it material one let's click ok perfect you will find this material parameter in the uh, family uh, properties here so that's how you create this kind of triangular pattern facade in revit i will quickly create other patterns here as well using the same method so i will leave you guys right here i hope this video was helpful to you make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next one